A lot of the documentation that we do is from a couple different sources. Uh, it's actually one family though. Um, I would say 85 to 90% of the pieces that I've presented have been from this family that has this land and that's dug you know, into the ground in Tula and come up with pieces that are unexplainable. And there's other families and other people I've vetted and tried to work with to understand this you know, from other points of view. And, you know, we, we came across different types of objects that they, they didn't have the same, you know, iconography, or maybe they were out of different types of stone. You know, it didn't look quite the same or it didn't look quite right in terms of what we thought we knew or what we, we believed we understood. And, you know, unfortunately with this type of work, there is no background information there is no expert that we can call and ask in reality. I mean, the experts that, that are on this field are experts in other countries and other things that completely convolute the plausibilities of what this even is because it hasn't been discovered yet officially. So there's no real thought outside the box of what we have here and what this could be. And, and so that makes it quite challenging. So it's really, really warming and great to see someone that I'd worked with in the past and someone that I, I placed some doubt on. You know, you might've seen our video about all the green statues popping up that were found by someone. And, and you know, I, just, I, I didn't say that they weren't real, but I had questions about it because there was just not enough evidence to give me a comfort to say, yeah, this is genuine. Well. It required a septic tank being installed and, and a cave-in of a, a, a tunnel. When this cave-in occurred, it opened up into what seemed to be like a, a large stash, as you can see here, of different items. You know, certain things that are positioned in the room accordingly, like the Sphinx here and, and this, you know, altar with these rings on it. But everything else seemed to be just kind of thrown into there or pushed into this into this room and um, this was back in, in September of 24 and since then now you know being December they've had time and, and, and it's opened up they found multiple other holes and different areas inside of this um, dwelling type area and it's, it's very interesting to see the commonalities with the pieces that we found you know at, at the other site and I mean, obviously some of these are, are dead on and not the same, you know, everything in terms of depiction with the, the angels, and the deities, uh, the boats and the, the whistles and pyramids and, you know, handbags and pine cones, and the statues. Um, everything was, was very consistent with the pieces that were found at the other caves, as well as a lot of the pieces that were found with the gentleman that I had dealt with. Um, you know, me and that gentleman have gone back and forth probably more than I would care to admit. And uh, it's been very constructive. You know, he's a good friend of mine and, and he's very open-minded and, and really wants to pursue the passion, it seems like in most cases. However, there's, you know, a business here involved as well. And I can tell that these guys have to fight for their survival. And some choices are made in often cases to take money, you know, to, to survive and to live. And, and I can, I can sympathize with this to, to most extent. However, you know, after dealing with a lot of research and, and a lot of back and forth, as I said, there, there, there's truth that comes to the surface and I can't thank these people enough for, for continuing on and, and dealing with this doubt and dealing with these things and still fighting for what they knew was true, um, e even in the end. And, and so I, I really, you know, th this is concludes many, many questions that I had. There may be other collections that I've questioned or doubted uh, some of their pieces because I didn't have the evidence to conclude that. And, and still, you know, it, there's a lot of pieces out there that we still question. You know, I released a video here a couple weeks ago that went into this detail and, and still a lot of those pieces are of question. Um, so it's it's just a matter of unfolding and, un, you know, peeling the onion here to find uh, what what's in the middle. And luckily for us, we have definitely concluded things, especially in this finding, like the metallurgy, the rings and the bronze coins, the type of glow, the depiction of different ships and, and things. 
Um, the iconography is, is spot on, the different types of carving methods, and um, you know, it's, it's really a, a beautiful thing to see from a different perception from a completely unbiased source. It's very refreshing because you can immediately start drawing things together that, that make sense and things maybe that don't. But in this case, it absolutely makes sense. I mean, this is, is very, very spot on to what we've been seeing. And you know, when it comes down to the metal work in some of these pieces, it, it's just absolutely stunning. I mean, these rings here maybe aren't uh, above and beyond from what has been found, but, but regardless, the detail and the quality, the, the patina in the metals, um, the you know, different styles of bronze, and you know, we found pitchforks that have heads that are made of half silver, half, um, well, it's not quite half, it's, it's half silver and then like 40% iron and the rest are tin. So kind of interesting to see silver tipped uh, tridents and different sorts of things. Uh, we found numerous rings and pieces made with with um, you know exotic combinations of of metals and, and gemstones. So it, it definitely it covers a lot of ground. And as both sites continue to develop and continue to unfold, I think we'll really get uh, a larger piece of the truth of what we're finding and, and what this actually is. If those tunnels do connect. Um, for you know a quarter mile underground and this is really as large as they think it is um, we're, we're in for a real treat over the next couple of years of what's going to be discovered and what they found and with the significance of the pieces that have come out of the river there in Tula and um, the, the definite signs that there was there was water that came from the ocean and, and washed over this land the direction of the way things are and, and how things are laid like I showed you in these these dwellings it, it just it, it, that coupled with the queried stone and, and things that we found you know positioned above these caves triple ground floors and the way things are, are eroded out and 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 pushed into certain areas um that's to me is, is i'm not an expert here but if if i had to take in, and make a, a an educated guess that's what we're seeing the, the results of of what destroyed much of the civilization